welcome. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Gratz and for all of you for being here um, for this really fun day. What an amazing idea for the holidays to bring us all together. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you wanna mute yourselves, that's helpful, I know, just in case um, sounds come on in the background. Um, if you just arrived, we're doing one spring on the top and one spring on the bottom on your Wenda. All right, and we're gonna start out with your pull-up exercise. So go ahead and stand right in front of your chair, bring your hands to the back of the chair and press the pedal down, both feet on the pedal. Heels together, toes apart, relax your neck, zip your legs up together, especially your inner thighs and bring your shoulders forward over your wrists. And we're gonna lift the pedal 10 times, lifting it up one, rounding your back. So you're really lifting the middle of your back. Up for three and resist the lowering back down. Up four and resist. Hugging the legs together and resist. Five more. This is our warm up today. We're not going to do the hundred because I bet if you did any other workouts, you've done it a few times. <laughs> up. Okay, two more. Up. And good. Ease the pedal down carefully. Stay right there. If your shoulders drifted back, bring them right over your wrists. And we're going to do the tendon stretch here. So just lower, lower, lower the heels and lift, lift, lift. Lower, 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 and lift, lift, lift. Lower, 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 keep lifting your spine. Try not to have anything go down except for your heels. And one more of these. Stretch, work the ankles. All right, and we're gonna separate the feet just parallel, your hip distance apart, and follow along. This is the, I'm, I'm taking us through the knee stretches, so you really want a very round back here. Keep your back as round as possible. Slowly lift the pedal with both feet about halfway up. And we're just gonna pump there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ease the pedal down and just stay for a moment. Okay, so you should be feeling a little bit warm now your joints warm, your balance activated. You're gonna step your right foot to the floor and be careful with the control here. Roll yourself up, keeping that pedal down. Cross your arms in front. We're gonna do our standing pumping. So the pedal comes up and control to press it down. Up, press for two. Up, press three. Up, press four, really activating your glute muscles, hold it down now, and you're gonna stretch your heel down, lift your heel up, raise the pedal. Two more, press, lower, lift, and bring it up. Last one, press, lower, lift, and bring it up. Press the pedal down and just stay right there, and with control, we're gonna step straight up for going up front. Your right foot comes up to the top of the chair, and here we go, press or lift the pedal up and bring it back down and up we go. So this whole sequence is gonna switch to the other leg and up for three, this is my memory challenge for the day and bring it down, two more, up and bring it down and one more time and bring it all the way down and we're gonna stop here, take your both hands and they're gonna to go to the left side of the chair. Your right foot is gonna step down to the pedal and it's in the back of the pedal, toes pointing inward. Your left foot turns out. So I'm getting ready for going up, uh, uh, sorry, for pull up side. So my right toe is turned in, my left toe is turned out. They're in a bit of a V, left foot is in front. Square the shoulders off to the side of the chair. So both shoulders in the same alignment as your hands and then relax your neck and lift the pedal three times this way. Lift for two and lift for one. Good, now hold it. Take your left foot, the one in front and then bend the knee and place that foot right in the front of the ankle. And then we're gonna lift the pedal that way. Lift for two and lift for three. And for the final little challenge, hold that leg out low to the side, lift the pedal one, 
lift for two and lift for three. Hold it right there, pedal is down. I just want you to hold that leg up as high as you can and count to three, two, one. You'll find out why later. Okay, so now the left foot is gonna replace the right foot. So it's near the back of the pedal. The right foot comes up, preparing for going upside. So one arm is in front, gather all your wits, and we're gonna lift the pedal and grow tall as we lower and lift it up and grow tall to lower and lift for three. And don't worry about going up all the way to the top, just to where you can keep your alignment. And here's our last one. Good, hold it right there. Now with control, let's place our hands on the chair to do this. We're gonna step the right foot behind the wood of the chair, right behind the pedal, getting ready for crossover pumping. Bring yourself up, cross the arms, lift the pedal, and with control, press and lift. Press two and lift. Press three. Up, press four. Up and press five and bring it up. Now press the pedal down. We're gonna stand on the pedal, getting ready to go to the other side. We're just gonna switch feet so that the right foot stays on the pedal now, so the other foot, and the left foot steps behind the chair. Bring yourself up with control and we cross over pumping on this side. Five times, press and lift, press up two, press up three, press up four, and press up five. Hold the pedal down, stand on the pedal, and guys, we're getting ready to go upside. Left foot comes up to the top, right arm can go out to the side, and here we go five times up and slowly lower. Oh, we have a different side to our bodies, don't we? <laughs> this one's always the tell. Up for three and lower. Up four and lower. One more. Up for five and slowly ease that pedal down. Okay, we're getting ready for pull up side. Hold onto the chair right in front of your left foot. Bring the left foot down and replace your right foot with your left. Your left toes are turned in, right toes are turned out. Square the shoulders to that side of the chair. Pull everything together and lift it up for three. Relax your neck if you can, two. And one. Hold the pedal down. Take your right foot and cross it right in front of the ankle and lift the pedal that way. Three. And two. And one. Hold that right leg out low, lift the pedal. Three and two and one. Hold the pedal down all the way. And this is just to help us later. Hold that right leg up to the side and just count to three, two, one. Very good. Okay, now that foot comes down. We're gonna face the chair and our left foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I wrong? Or yeah, our left foot, I'm right. Our left foot comes up onto the top for going up front. Here we go. Up and lower. Two and lower. Three. Slowly down. Up. Slowly down. We got one more. Okay, the final frontier. We're gonna carefully step to the floor. You can use your hands if you want to. Getting ready for our standing pumping. All right, and now our right foot pumps the pedal. Press and lift. Two and up. Three, up. Four, up. And five, slowly bring it up. Now we're gonna add the heel. Press down, lower your heel. Lift your heel and bring it up. Press down, lower the heel. Lift the heel and bring it up. One more, press down, lower the heel. Lift the heel and bring it up. 
Woo! Okay, take your both feet to the floor and we're gonna do an Achilles stretch really quick to just balance all that out. So both feet are just parallel right in front of the pedal. Place your hands on the left and then bring the pedal down with your left foot. Hug your knee right into there and really brace it with your hands. Square your hips off as best you can. And as you press that pedal, control it back up with your powerhouse. So your bottom, your stomach, your whole waistline is helping to control that pedal. We're just gonna do three times. Do not let your knee move around. Last one. Good, okay, carefully ease that knee away. And we're gonna switch feet. Hands go to the right a little bit. Bring the pedal down with your right foot and fit your knee right in there. Brace it with your hands. And then just check to make sure your bottom foot is parallel. Hips are parallel. Stomach in, press and slowly lift. And press for two and slowly lift. You guys look great. Press for three and slowly lift. Okay, we're gonna take our pedal back up and we're gonna change our spring now. We have only have two spring changes in this uh, lesson. So we're gonna take it to one spring in the middle. So everything goes one in the middle. And we're gonna practice one of my favorite exercises, the flying eagle. So standing behind the chair, bend your knees, bring your hips straight down towards your heels, letting your heels lift. We're gonna lie right down in front of the chair. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Bring your hands to the pedal. Do your best to relax your neck towards the floor. And then just letting all of that open and lengthen here. Gather your hips together, press your pelvis down into the floor, lift your stomach, and then move the pedal down as you lift up. And just look out through the chair. And then slowly gathering and lifting your stomach, return the pedal and bring your chest down. Notice your nose probably got a little closer. Let's go again. Pull in and lift up. Oh yeah. Just reversing all that time hunched in front of our computers and slowly taking the zoom out <laughs> and come back down. One more time. Oh, stretching, stretching, lifting, opening the chest, elongating all those tight abdominal muscles undoing our hundred and slowly bring it down. Okay, take your hands carefully off the pedal, sit back and take a little stretch. And we're gonna jump our feet through. So if you can, just slide your feet right through. You're gonna bring yourself close enough to the pedal that when you lie down, you've got a 90 degree angle with your legs, your knees stacked right over your hips. Now just bring your head to the floor Relax your arms by your side. Take a deep breath in and make your pelvis very heavy. Press the pedal down with both feet and lift it up. And press it down. You wanna have about a little more than the ball of your foot on the pedal. That's two. Press down for three. Hold it up. And now you're gonna take off the foot that you don't naturally wanna pick up first. So for me, I'm gonna pick up my left foot and then push with my right and lift back up. I'm just having you do that to wake your spotty up. Press two, one spring seems like a lot, right? <laughs> and press for three. Okay, now we'll change feet. Holding it with my left now, press. Oh, hello, hamstring. Two, good. And one more three. All right, now we're gonna keep both feet on the pedal. We're gonna go for our semicircle. Let's go ahead and place both of the soles of the feet together. And you're gonna press the pedal down, lift the hips up in the air. Now try to lift the pedal back up. Lift the pedal and then we'll roll our spine back down. If that was hard the first time, but then your body starts to understand. So we press the pedal down lift the pelvis up and then lift the pedal up. There we go. And roll the pelvis down. One more like that. Press it down, hips come up, pedal up, roll the body. 
And we're gonna reverse the pelvis now. So pelvis up, pedal down, roll down, pedal up. Hips come up, pedal down, roll it down, try not to crash, <laughs> lift it up one more time. Hips up, pedal down, roll it down. Oh, nice crack there. Bring the pedal up. Okay, from here, lift your arms to the ceiling, roll yourself up, lean my rain to your ears, and then just lift your legs into your open leg rocker position. We're just gonna roll it out for a second. Rock it back, rock it up, and let's go three more, and up, back, and up, and last one, and good. Cross your legs and bring yourself all the way up to standing. We're gonna come around and add a spring for two springs in the middle. So here we go, two in the middle, and our next little sequence, we're just going to start out with our two in the middle, tendon stretch, table top. This is one of my favorite little sequences as well. So we're gonna start with our tendon stretch. So drop your head, hip, hips come up, your toes are pressing the pedal down. We're just gonna lift the pedal just like that. You come up and lower, two and lower, three, lower, four, lower, one more, five, and lower. And just like we were practicing before, you're gonna take your right hand in between your legs. All we're gonna do here is hold the leg out to the side, reach through that foot as far as you can so that you're not falling over on your left hip. Hold it, two, three, and bring it down. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Left hand goes in the, between the legs, left leg goes out to the side, hold it, two, three, whoo, and bring it down. So good for our balance and our hips, strengthening that band of muscle around your glute. Okay, so now we're going into our tendon stretch. I'm going for toes apart, heels together. You can choose that or parallel feet, whatever is working for you today. Try to keep the pedal still and lift your hips up. We're making a table from our knee to our shoulder. Hold everything right there and move the pedal only. One, two, three, four, five. If you wanna add on, you're gonna kick right leg out. One, two, you could just go both legs at the same time. Four, five, and then switch legs. Hips up and one, two, three, four, and five. Keep the pedal up high as you sit back down. Excellent, we're gonna go back to our tendon stretch. So press the pedal down, relax your neck, pulling it up for five, up four, up three, up two, up for one. Whew. Okay, have a seat. We're gonna go for one more thing here. We're on the wrong spring for this, but I just love horseback. So we're gonna do it with a heavier spring. So separate your legs. Try to turn your knees a little bit more forward rather than just letting them open up out to the side. Sit yourself down, flex your feet, arms are up by your sides. Now point your feet to lift, round your back as deeply as you can, reach your hands for the pedal, and then pull your stomach in to move the pedal just two inches. Resist it up. Push with your powerhouse. Resist it up. One more time. Resist it up. Lift your hands with control, flex, and sit. We'll do it one more time. Point and reach and press and resist. This is my favorite place to do this one. And resist. And last time, and resist. And normally on one spring, of course, which is the correct setting, but I couldn't resist throwing it in there. Okay, we're gonna stand up and come to the back of the chair for my third favorite exercise on the chair, the twist. So I'm sitting right on the edge, giving myself lots of room to roll over to. 
crossing the left foot on top because I'm sitting with my left hand's gonna go on the pedal. So my arm comes down and we're gonna, oh, I forgot, we are still on two. Sorry guys, we're supposed <laughs> to be on one for this one, duh. Okay, one spring, thank you very much. Okay, here we go. So our left hand comes down, we're gonna press and come over and come back up. Good. An arm can just stay by the ear for the next two. Once you're here and hips are stacked, twist your upper torso, your ribs twist around. That feels so good. And the right hip comes down and we come back up. One more time, lift your right hip up and twist. And set it down and come back up and then hold and reach both arms for your toes and come all the way to standing and just switch so that you're sitting right on the other corner. Get yourself situated, lift the legs. And here we go, right arm comes down, left arm by the ear and lift that left hip and twist your rib cage out. Bring it out and bring it back up. And two more times and twist. And bring it back up. And last one, lift the left hip and twist and bring it back up. And then bring both hands up and stand yourself up. Okay, now while we're here, we're gonna go for a little teaser action. So have a seat right there on the chair. Bring your legs up into your teaser, hold it, draw the elbows right by the sides, palms facing up, and then place your palms, fingers pointing out on the pedal. From here, we're gonna press it down and lift it back up. Press for two and up and press for three and up and last one down and up. Reach your fingers for your toes, hold it. You can grab onto your legs for a little rest because we are gonna go harder. We're gonna go one, one more level here. Arms and legs go out. Bring the hands down. This time have your fingers point inwards on that pedal. And as you press it down, lower your legs. Leave your legs right there and just lift the pedal. And lower, lift, and lower, lift. And last time, and lift. Woo, bring your legs up, reach. And hold on to your legs and we step right off. All right, we're gonna go for a mermaid kneeling and a push-up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring myself forward just a little bit. Let's start with our mermaid kneeling. Cross your arms right in front, parallel your feet. If needing to get down for your knees, um, if you need to just come down anyway, that's fine. I'm gonna go the fancy way, lift your heels, the traditional way. And then you're just gonna sit down like you're sliding down a wall, your knees go forward, heels are up. And when you get to the bottom, you can gently set your knees down. Take the hand near the pedal, near the front, other arm glued to the ear. And as we press, we're just gonna really stretch that left side. Try to imagine you're in that pane of glass. So your front is not twisting, you're just glued against a flat plane. And again, press down as you reach, 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 and slowly bring it up keeping the left knee heavy, lift both sides of your waist and get even longer to stretch, two, three. Now hold yourself there, the pedal is lifted. I want you to just put your left hand down or your outside hand down on the floor, step both feet straight out into a plank and hold that plank for push up side. So you're just gonna press the pedal down and lift it up. Try not to shift your hips at all. Notice if your center is wobbling. You wanna minimize any extra movement. Press for four and up, press five and up, press six, we're going for eight, press seven and press for eight. Awesome, slowly bring the pedal up, drop your head and walk your legs in with straight legs if you can. Relax both arms, relax your neck and roll yourself all the way up arms to the ceiling and then arms come down. We're gonna go for our mermaid on the other side. So just walk around your chair, cross your arms 
And you can lift your heels, slide down a wall. And then gently set your knees down. Okay, left hand is slightly near the front of the pedal, right arm by your ear or opposite arm by the ear. We press and stretch to three and slowly come back up. Oh, I got a crack on that side. Here we go again, press two, three, and slowly bring it up. And one more time, reach, reach, reach. Okay, let's get our push up in. Take your right hand, your outside hand to the floor, step your both legs out, glue your legs together, hips nice and low so you're in a full plank, press the pedal for eight and seven and six, good five and four, three and two and one. Hold the pedal up as you step your feet back in all the way with straight legs if you can. Zipper up and roll yourself up and then arms come down. And just for the sake of saving us, I'm gonna bring us back to two springs middle for my last two exercises. Okay, so your two springs in the middle. Ooh, we're just gonna do one last exercise. Okay, so we're gonna do my favorite favorite of all time on the chair at the star. So I'm actually just gonna face the chair, press both feet down on the pedal, and then I'm gonna leave the leg, I'm, I'm putting my right leg on and my right hand in the center of the chair. And we're just gonna do what I use as a prep for this. So this has been a theme, right? So our left leg is out to the side here. My prep for this is to just line up everything, my right hand, my right foot, my left leg. And I want you to just lean towards your right hand and hold two, three, and keep that outside leg as high as you can, lean away. And we just put weight into the arm on the chair and imagine you're lifting it up and then reach away. And trust me, this is a lot of work. So we're gaining the strength we need to someday achieve the full expression of this exercise and lean away. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. So now my left foot is on the center of the pedal. My left hand is in the center of the chair. My right hand goes behind my head and that right leg reaches out into a full star position. Try to get again between the two panes of glass and then we're just going to hold that leg in place as we lean into the left hand as if we're floating the pedal up. Reach the right leg as far away as you can. So all the points of your star are active and reaching. The foot on the pedal, the foot that's reaching, the top of your head, the top elbow. Hold it, hold it, weight over your arm, hold it. And slowly bring it away. And then we're gonna turn and face the chair. Always face your chair when you get off of this. Step down onto the floor and slowly bring the pedal up. And I think we have about 30 seconds left. So right where we are, we're gonna roll up to the sky and we're gonna finish with a very heavy push down. So it's two springs, be careful with yourself. Round over, bring both hands to the pedal. This is a useful way, pull in your stomach and push the pedal halfway. This is a useful way to help feel the muscles that you need to do this properly. Press for two and slowly control up and press for three. Hold it and just do little pumps. Press two, three and control up. And then hold your hips right in place and roll yourself all the way up. Open your arms out to the side. Woo, we made it guys. Thank you so much.